Yo guys, I'm Toto, and welcome to uh, another Hearts of Iron 4 video. Uh, I really didn't plan, well no, I, I've been wanting to make one for a while, and I plan to actually make a different one, but I recently watched Feedback's video of um, him doing Mikasa as Tukasa, which is a uh, an achievement as Mexico, and he was showing you how to do it. And I had actually done that achievement a few days before he released the video, and I had done it differently, and I feel like the way I did it was a bit more... Oh, shit, I did not mean to load that. Uh, I feel like the way I did it, one, was quicker, and two, was a bit more efficient than what he was doing. And uh, I, I, that's the whole thing I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, we're keeping historical focuses on, because he turned it off in his video. Uh, I'm not sure if he prepared for his video or not, but uh, we will be preparing on my on, on our side. So, well, I've had I've done it a few times. I actually took it took me three attempts to do this because first time I went in blind. I didn't know what I was doing. I usually do that when I go into my into my achievement attempts. I go in blind, try to figure out my own strategy for it. Unless I absolutely cannot figure out, I won't use guides. The only reason I watched this video because I had already done the achievement. Uh, so, what will we do? Okay, first thing, we're going to choose pl um, plan of Agua Prieta. And our research shall be the electronic machines and basic machine tools. We'll also be building sieves in uh, this state here. And we'll be building mills in this state. Because once those sieves finish, we want to build mills. Because, uh, well, we don't really need to, but we can. And we'll be training, we'll be deleting our entire army except the one in Mexico City. And we'll be training this division to get more army ex uh, experience. Also, he trained his navy. You can do this if you want. I'm focusing entirely on getting this achievement as quickly as possible. So, so um, we'll get, get started. I'll walk you through it. Uh, well, uh, at least my strategy of it, at least. I said it at least twice. Um, for the general, you really could just take um, uh, Helio Daro, uh, Daro Charis. I think that's how you say his name. I'm, I'm from Canada, so I don't really, I don't really know Mexican names and stuff like how to pronounce the stuff very well. So I had some Spanish friends in school, but that was a long time ago. Also, our production—I completely forgot about this. Our production. We could actually keep the same production we've got before, right now. We're going to keep the guns, because that's fine, and we're going to put everything towards artillery. Because artillery is very important for taking out the uh, Central America. Alright, so once we've got the the first one, first thing I'm going to do differently, we're going to exile Kalas, and we're not going to be doing support General uh, Cedillo. We're going to be going down to arrest General Cedillo, and here's my reasoning why. Uh, if you look at the amount of focuses you have to go through, obviously this one's a lot more, but you might think, well, there's a lot of 35s here, right? Oh, 35, 35, 70, 70. There's 35, 35, 35, 70, 70, 70. So if you look at this in total, how many focuses you're actually going through, and I'm going to count 70 days as one focus here. So this is these two are one focus. This is two focuses. This is three focuses. This is one. These two is one, two, three, four, and a half. You're doing four and a half focuses going down to support General Cedillo. And honestly, I don't, you're not going to need the division attack. Like, your artillery will be more than enough to beat the Central American divisions. And that's why I think going down this end is better. And you're going to be going down this way anyways. So it's like, because you're going to do institutional revolution. So why waste your time going down this side? When you could do, and this one gives you the um, captive industry, anyways. So, like, well, why would you even go down this one? I mean, yeah, you get some consumer goods, but I mean, I honestly prefer the captive industry over consumer goods. Also, we are going to want to, uh, to move our uh, our divisions down here and just pop up the cast by like 50. We're only going to need 50, anyways. Also, when you have army XP, once you have five, we're going to switch out these for artillery. So that the, these two are artillery. This, hold on, let me just show you. This is the division we're going to want to have. This is what we're going to want to have at the end game. So 
just work towards that. We're gonna keep working down to purge, bureau purge the bureaucracy. And then once we have five more XP, we're going to do the next. We're gonna add that new artillery and I'll take it from there. All right, once electronics engineering is finished, you're gonna to wanna to go to for mechanical computing. We're just gonna rush our, re our research boosts right away. Just so anything afterwards is gonna be a lot quicker. All right, okay, this is actually perfect. We got two things at once. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna switch our artillery onto here. So this is the artillery division we're gonna, we're gonna to wanna to go for. And you might be thinking, oh, hold on. Actually, let me get to that for a second after this. So um, the Archbishop uh, Pascal Diaz has uh, passed away. We're gonna to wanna to do this one. And um, Chris got in peace or rest in peace. Um, the reason why we're doing this one, one, it gives you stability. Don't mind the factory output uh, debuff, that's fine. We're gonna do that because we can, the, the decisions we have is we only we can only nationalize church lands. We can't transfer them without doing re, uh, disestablishmentarianism. So we we wanna push for a, church, for a stronger church, that way we have the decisions to lower it if we need to. And now, the reason why I'm going for artillery and infantry instead of artillery and uh, and cavalry, even though we get a cavalry genius, I believe. Yeah, we have a cavalry genius, which is amazing. We, all have, well, we also have an infantry expert. So infantry, just they get pretty much the exact same buff as cavalry do. And here's the problem with using cavalry. I'm going to show you. Uh, infantry... Oh well, no, ca cavalry? They have movement and attack debuffs in almost every form of terrain except, and uh, yeah, pretty much every single form of terrain they have debuffs. And infantry, uh, do they do not really have, they have movement and very small attack debuffs in the same areas that, uh, like this is like 4.4, whereas, uh, like hold on, where, where's one that we were, we were looking at? Like mountains, like mountains and jungles are the ones we care about because there's a lot of mountains and jungles in the, uh, there's also forests. Well, no, these are jungles, but still. So mountains and jungles are the ones we care about. So these mountains, we have a movement debuff and no attack debuff. And then jungles, we have a movement debuff and a, an attack debuff. But if we look at cavalry, we have a movement debuff and a attack, and a huge attack debuff on mountains. And then for jungles, we don't have a movement debuff, but we have a pretty bad attack debuff. And so we want to go for infantry because they don't have one. They don't have as bad of movement debuffs. Like this is 0.6 lower than cavalry, and this one is all. Uh, this one has a movement debuff in jungles, but it also has less, almost half the attack debuff. So that's why we're going for infantry instead of uh, instead of cavalry. Now, once the um, once the division, once you've gotten the two on there, we're gonna actually want to train uh, eleven of these divisions, and we're gonna put it over in. Uh, I just like putting them in cities. You don't have to do that, but just put them over on this border. And we're gonna add our field marshal. And the reason why I wait is because then we have uh, points to add the offensive doctor on him. We're just gonna want to put him over there, and you can uh, yeah. Uh, I'll come back to it. All right, so basic machines tools is finished. You want to go for dispersed industry, and the reason why we're going for dispersed industry is this is for more long term stuff. It gives you less back. Well, it gives you the same amount of factories. It gives you less um, factory output, but oh, it's only five percent. It's not that bad. But in return, you get more efficiency and uh, in your production, and you also get more uh, factory bombing and stuff but vulnerability. So you uh, that's. In my opinion, going for this as a miner is a lot better than con uh, than concentrated because it improves your industry a bit more, your production industry a bit more. So you you'll be producing more artillery and and more of it quicker than you would if you were doing concentrated. All right. So once these divisions are good, you want to deploy them directly onto. I forgot to actually just do it, so they went automatically onto it. Just let them go to their spots, and you're gonna want to train them all the way up to uh, regular. All right, purge of the bureaucracy is done. We're gonna do arrest General uh, Citadel. This will give us more war support, which is nice, because that means we'll be able to go up to uh, partial mob. Oh, wait, no, we will be able to do uh, early mobilization, sorry. All right, so arrest General Citadel is finished. I'm actually gonna wait one day.
and the reason why it's not 150 political power. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to do uh, control the army for the extra stability. And your uh, person you should choose is the social reformer because that gives even more stability. And the reason why we're focusing stability right now is because that gives us more production. So our factor output will be a bit greater, which means we'll produce a bit more. All right, once these are all up to um, up to regular, I'm gonna to wanna to stop training them because, well, you don't really need to train them anymore. You don't need the XP. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click here, but we're not gonna switch it. We wanna look, is that we need th uh, 400, not yeah, 4,408 infantry equipment and we need 924 towed artillery. So this, that we're gonna to wanna to wait, we're going to wanna wait until we have that amount. So just keep an eye on your production Make sure we need just about a thousand artillery and we need about oh, 5,000 infantry equipment, which that one should be easy. The artillery, that's why we're putting more stuff towards artillery. All right, so control of the army is finished. We're gonna wanna do the ban political militias and we're gonna be rushing down to uh, Hispanic Alliance and I'll explain why in a bit. But when we get down there, I'll explain why. Another thing you could technically do is you could individually switch these divisions to the new one. Like individually going around like, oh, I need a bit more artillery for that. You could do that. I mean, I might I might do that just to make it a bit easier, like more of my army is prepared for war. Okay, so dispersed industry is finished and also our mechanical computing is finished. You want to do is dispersed industry 2 and construction 1. We're not going to be touching really any of our uh, military folks, uh, sorry, not focus, military research until a bit later. Because once we do that, we want to put everything towards the uh, the army once once we have research we want. Which is, we want this, we want this, improved machine tools, and we also want construction too. So once these are finished, those are the two ones you want to go after. Okay, once, uh, sorry, once this is finished, you want to go after revolutionary women and because it will give us access to uh, women's suffrage, which we will not be taking just yet, but we'll be uh, taking it soon. Well, we won't take it, That don't, this will not be the next hook because this one will be. You also want to keep, hold on to your political power. We'll be using it later and we'll need quite a bit of it just in case. Okay, so Trotsky arrives just sometimes. I don't know, sometimes it happens. I guess on historical, it's always gonna happen. Uh, we're not gonna use it. We're just gonna, we're not Stalin's puppets. We're just gonna improve relations with the US. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so the Fermisman uh, Constantium. This will give us a decision to increase. It'll, either one decreases our stuff but we're gonna want to choose this top one consumer goods is over the factory output just because uh like consumer it's consumer goods and we'll get factory output from these ones anyway so actually no we'll get stability and we'll get stability from that All right, so revolutionary women is finished so we want to do sold the data they pronounce that right <laughs> Alright, so once that's finished, go for construction 2 just so it makes it so you can construct things a bit quicker. And this one, it's almost finished. You'll want to do the improved machine tools, as I said before. So our air wing is finished. We can deploy another close air support one. Just do that and train. Just to get this one up a bit. Uh, you don't really need to do this because it's just it'll just make it more efficient when you do go to war. And you're not using the fuel anyway. Well, I'm not using the fuel anyway, so. Okay, so we have 250 political power. At this point, you can go and spend it. You like, I, I really thought about it. You don't, you don't really need to wait for it. You uh, also, you need to do Spanish war, uh, civil war refugees. It's still going on, which is kind of good. So that means you can do stuff. But uh, what we're gonna want to do, you can go to early mobilization. Honestly, actually, it might be better. Okay, heroic military college. I didn't actually look at this. You could actually go for this. You could save up and go for that, I guess. Doing superior firepower, but um, you might want to 
either go for the free trade, the early mobilization. Actually, what I'm going to go for, I'm going to actually gonna choose the artillery designer because it's, we're going to be going after that soon. We all, all we want is we all want over we want over uh, 75 political power because we're going to want to wait for this decision. Well, we're going to want to use this decision later. All right. So once this is finished, the focus is finished. Do found just veterans. And just make your way down to Hispanic Alliance. We don't want to do... We don't really want to do Bolivarian Alliance. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but this one gives more consumer goods for us, so... Alright, so once that focus is finished, we're going to do the Hispanic Alliance. What Feedback did is he went Democratic and then went for Real Politic, which is what we're not going to do, because Real Politic, like, oh, he went this. You can't do this. Because you need to... If you go for real politic, we're gonna do this focus. We need we need either Hispanic Alliance or Bolivarian Alliance. If you do real politic, you can't get down here. So that's why I've actually waited to f before flipping Democratic. You're gonna want to stay not aligned the whole time uh, before you go down to uh, because we want to get this focus before we flip uh, Democratic. It's very crucial that we do that. Also, this Hispanic Alliance. Now that we're doing it. Uh, what you're going to want to do, since we have Catholic state, it's going to start doing this. We're actually going to want to nationalize the church lands. This will give us Catholic state again, but that's why uh, we're, we've saved up put a car, because we flipped again to Catholic state. Uh, you could actually grab this. I didn't think about it. You could grab this and get it ahead of time, but I'm actually going to focus more on artillery now, because we're going to be going to war soon. So. You could, I might grab it, because it, it, that's pretty decent ahead of time, 200 days. Yeah, this is why I we've kept our political power. We need to flip, we need to keep it so that we're un, we're not a Catholic state, because as long as we're not a Catholic state, it won't do any of the Revolution or Castero War. That's why we haven't been spending political power. Even though we could, we're, we haven't been. I'm actually not gonna do that. I'm gonna go for the next, the, the Mondragon, um, well, the M08, which is the new, well, it's not new, but it's the next rifle, because we're behind on that. Alright, so Hispanic Alliance is almost finished, should be done, yep. So we're going to want to go for this, the Coastal Defense Plan. We should, yeah, we're, we're pretty close, we're getting close to going uh, Democratic, so after, after this, we're going to want to focus on going Democratic. Also, we will be a Catholic state, so we have the second Mexican Revolution again, which is, that's fine. You don't really need to worry about that because we can just nationalize the church lands again, which is what we're going to do next. And uh, this is why now here, th this is why I've chosen to do Hispanic Alliance. We have all these decisions now because we've done this Hispanic Alliance, which means we can invite anyone that we want into the war. And there's one specific country we're going to be inviting into the war. Well, into a war. Just for them to die. We're going to we're going to invite a country into the war. Into a war so that they... Just for the purpose that they die for us. Because once we're democratic... If you had to be democratic to host a government in exile. It just kind of sucks, but... Right, so we're going to do women's suffrage. will give us plus 10 more democracy. Which will flip us pretty quickly. And when you can, like, it's 10 days now. When you can, you're going to want to nationalize the church lands. Honestly, you could have done it. I could have um, clicked it beforehand. I didn't actually notice I flipped to a Catholic state. That was my mistake. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to want to do that one more time. So I just nationalize it. And now that we're a powerful church, the decision, well, the, uh, yep. So we are no longer in a, in a state where we are going to in trouble of war. All right, from this point on, you can technically spend your your uh, your political power on anything you want. You could do anti-fascist raids just to flip a bit quicker. It doesn't really matter. So also, you should go for artillery ahead of time because getting really good artillery is going to make this war the, the wars in Central America very easy. Yeah. So that, okay. Yeah, women's suffrage will give us Catholic state again. Okay, I just, yeah, I just realized that. So we're going to have to click it one more time. But uh, that's fine. 
we won't we won't be in trouble of uh getting into a, a any problems in in that point in time actually instead of actually do you want no 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 i just realized we're gonna you won't have to do that i okay don't I, it might seem like i'm kind of making this up along the way <laughs> but um i uh, i I haven't practiced this in a bit, so we're gonna actually go for this. We're gonna go, we're not gonna spend our political power on that stuff. We're actually gonna get we're gonna grab the um infantry leader. Because okay, enforce the Khalid's law will actually bring us down from Catholic state to powerful church. And we're gonna we're not gonna do triumph uh, we can do triumph for the Cristeros again, I believe, just because we're not a Catholic. We won't be a Catholic state. Alright, so at this point, yeah, I'm able to convert the rest of my army into a uh into the new division, the artillery ones. And once these guys are completely 100% strength, yeah, just train them up to uh, up to regular. Just so they're they're fully prepared for war. We're not going to go for this because this, this this these decisions, no. The Knights of Columbus, though it's it's pretty good, we're not going to go for that. All right, so now that that's finished. We are going to just wait because we will yeah we're, we're going pretty quickly we should just be able to do one more we're gonna actually probably grab March we'll grab this we'll grab National Bank after National Bank uh, we might grab the March southwards because all, that's also 35 days we just need to get to 40% so we could flip to uh to Democratic we don't want to be declaring any wars before then. Well, I mean, we can if we want, if you want, but just be careful because there's someone very particular we want to declare war on, and we want to have in our faction. Well, we want to have one person in our faction. We want to have one person. Uh, we want to be at war with one person. I just whatever. <laughs> Unconsciously just circled the person we need to be at war with. But yeah, so we have a powerful church. You can nationalize the lands if you want. And I'm gonna do that. Just because it's extra stability. You almost have 60%. Alright, so the army is 100% full strength. We're going to train them. And now we're going to choose the... See, because now we can do agricultural credit bank. And we can go down military budgets, stuff like that. If you do this, it gives you uh, more civilian construction speed, which is better, in my opinion, than, uh, than the other one, which is... Uh, Liberalize the banking sector, which is minus five consumer goods. That's it's a political advice. You have to grab that guy. And honestly, I wouldn't spend my political power on five consumer goods. So <laughs> yeah, just train these guys up till they're regular, and then everything should be pretty. You should be pretty ready. And also upgrade those guns. <laughs> if you're below on steel, you could just trade with the U.S. It doesn't really matter because you're almost finished on on those. So. All right, so just grab the, uh, you want to grab supportive weapons, because those will give you buffs for your infantry. Yeah, and we can do inst institutional revolution now, so this will be the next focus of the deal, which is this one, which will flip this democratic. And we have the war goals against Hon Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. All right, so once it's finished, you want to just Oh, you can either go for this, or you can go and grab a... Oh, that's gone. Don't know why it's gone, but it's gone. <laughs> Maybe it was tied with something else, I didn't notice. But, uh, yeah, I, I guess you, you could go ahead of time for that. But I I, I guess, I, I don't know. Should have grabbed it. You can grab it if you want. I didn't grab it, because I wanted to focus more on, armor, on my army. And uh, then my industry at the moment, because, well, my industry is looking pretty good. Eight civs. We're building mills, like, every, what, 120 days. Pretty decent to create the uh, artillery. Oh, we have a worker strike. We want to go for, that's capitalism. Don't want to waste all your political power. Because we want to wanna we want to go up to partial mob. Let's just say, just grab partial mobilization, and I'll increase it to 10 civs. So. Alright, so this focus is almost finished. And, yep. So now we should be democratic, yes, and we have 50%. Alright, so now we're going to do... Really? Doesn't really matter. Actually, yes it does. Yes it does. We need to go down to uh, Unify Central America. And the first thing we're going to do is our divisions are fully regular. 
is we're going to declare war on Guatemala, and we're going to, when we have diplomatic power, we're going to improve relations on uh, on Costa Rica. Yeah, just take out, just take out Guatemala. It's fine. They 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 don't really matter. This is the, they're just kind of in the way. Annex them. Alright, so now we're going to do uh, this. Just do a like, fallback line, bring them up. Wait for them to get their organization back. Alright, so now we have political power. We're going to improve relations with them. Because we're going to be inviting Costa Rica to our uh, to our, um, our faction. And the reason why... I, did, I tried this once with Nicaragua. These... I don't know why... They would not die for the life of me. Like they, they would just sat there and they survived for two years. Even the Axis had to step in to try and kill them, and they just wouldn't. Like they, because El Salvador joined the Axis, and then then the, the Axis brought divisions over. But like there were Italian divisions and stuff here, but they would not, for the life of them, die. Like they had two divisions that were just surviving over here, and they wouldn't lose. So Costa Rica is a much better person to try and grab because they have zero divisions. So now we should be able to invite Costa Rica to a faction. Yep, they always accept, so. Get together we stand. Just delete that, and you're going to declare war on El Salvador and Honduras. Yep, so just do like a half and half there. So like that. Just, yeah, doesn't really matter. And Costa Rica probably won't join. You're gonna want to wait because now, even though they didn't want to join, they've asked for to join the war. This is what you want. And now we're going to declare war on Nicaragua. And the reason why we declared war like that is because uh, okay, let's just get rid of that. It's unified now. We're going to want to go towards. We're gonna want. We're gonna go around El Salvador. We won't break the 22 divisions there. It's a lot of divisions. Even with our artillery divisions, we probably won't break that. So we're just gonna. We want to beat. Uh, just one. Actually, we're just gonna. What we want to do is just keep just two divisions here. Just to delete the front line. Two. Just keep them there. And then let's do that. This. Now the, in the uh, yeah, just keeping two divisions, they should just hopefully hold the line. Do that, and bring your front line down here. That way, all your divisions are moving. El Salvador shouldn't really be able to beat you. Except uh, let's hold these two guys. El Salvador shouldn't be able to push out because the divisions are quite weak. And from here on, doesn't really matter what focuses you take. I'm just going to do agricultural. And see, we're having no problem pushing into mountains and, uh, and and jungles. And the problem with this is that we probably would have if we were cavalry. I mean, these are plains here, but like still. Well, no, those are hills. Yeah, hills. Which they wouldn't have a problem with. I mean, yep, that's Costa Rica's dead. Costa Rica won't try to take them. So I'll just annex them. Is that? Okay, they're actually pushing me a bit. If they are pushing you, just move a division there. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually wanna push into Nicaragua now. Yeah, so now we're just we're holding now. It's fine. Pinning that division there, it's good. Keep one division just sitting there. Annex Nicaragua. It's because since Costa Rica was in the war, they Nicaragua. By the way, Costa Rica will not join your war against Nicaragua, and that's why we went after. We, that's why we went around El Salvador. Now, just go like that. Bring all your divisions over there. Just bring all your divisions over into the, that territory there. You just you just abandon this area. Just abandon it. Doesn't matter. Just just get just just leave. Even you, just, even though you just took all that territory, you just, you just want to leave. Just like, yeah, just fall back, bang, and sit and wait. Because now El Salvador 
will take out Costa Rica, who Costa Rica unknowingly joined the war against, and because they have so many divisions, they will just run all the way down to Costa Rica. And this is why we they we went around El Salvador and took them out uh, and took out everyone around them because now that we abandoned this territory, they will move down and take out Costa Rica. So just wait for them to go and take Costa Rica. It shouldn't take too long. Since there's no divisions, they'll just completely move in. Costa Rica, because they had, didn't have an immediate enemy on the border, they had no reason to pump out divisions and they don't have the manpower to do it either. So, And one more. And once they've capitulated, there we go. We have exiled Costa. We have Costa Rican exiled government. This would give you the achievement, and it's 38. This is much before. This is way before uh, what feedback did it. So he went and like released Colombia and and something like that. Uh, it didn't. Yeah, the very efficient way of doing it. So inefficient way of doing it. So just go like that. You could probably kill El Salvador now. Yeah, just beat them. Bring your planes over. Yeah, just bring them over, just do that. Kill El Salvador. You only need to take the one state anyway. And you just ank some. And uh, everything's good. Just go down to Integrate South. You can go to war with Panama if you want. Also, I would um I would not advise going for the Panama Canal. <laughs> because I did that once. I was like, oh yeah, I could I I like I cause a lot, the first time I ever tried it, I lost it. So I didn't know what happened when you won. And there we go. Yeah. Just do that. And there bang. And Costa Rica's back. You just kick him out of your faction, you kill him. Costa Rican government in exile. It's time for them to return to their own territory. There we go. So uh yep, yeah, so that should be the achievement. You can go and integrate these nations into your into your country, kick Costa Rica out. Uh, take out the rest of Central America. Don't go after this. Don't go after Panama Canal because if you win that, the U.S. will probably go after, probably try to kill you. So it's not great. Uh, then you could just go after the rest of the Central uh, South America. You should have quite a bit of equipment. It's an, almost enough for another 12 divisions, like maybe nine or nine or ten divisions. So you just pump them out. Just go down. Take out the rest of uh, Central America. If you want to do that? Thanks for watching. That's the achievement. I, if I didn't already have the achievement, that you that it would have showed it. So, all right. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, hopefully this helped a bit better. Then uh, I don't. I'm not trying to. Well, I'm not trying really to compete with feedback. So I just wasn't pleased with the way he did it. So I thought, well, maybe I should do show how I did it. So this is the way I did it. It was a lot quicker than the way he did it. So, uh, yeah, that's the achievement. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you did, and I'll see you guys next one.